this is episode one of my scripting tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you the basics of scripting, what it is, and how to start it. So you want to open up Roblox Studio, you can just type in Roblox uh, Studio, or like Roblox Studio if you want to be specific. Uh, open that up, I just press enter to open that real quick. Uh, here, well, for you, you'd go to my Roblox profile. Um, yeah, sure. Like right now, I'm not logged in. You just edit, you go to your place and it'll have an edit button for you. Or you could just start a new place by uh, hitting this button right over here in the corner. So, I'm gonna start up a nice little place here. Uh, let's insert a bot block. So what you want to, so pretty much what Roblox Studio is for any of you guys that are lost, it's pretty much what you create your scripts in. Um, there's not much else to it other than learning, practice, and patience. Uh, this is your ba basic uh, building place. Like this is exactly where you want to start building. Here is just a regular part. Let's rename this base. Uh, base. Let's lock it. The, uh, if you're wondering why, why do I use this? Why can't you use build mode or online mode? Online mode. For one, in online mode, you just can't edit places like this. Well, to this extent. And in build mode, this you can't. It's really difficult to script in build mode, so it's easier here. Um, you probably won't have. You'll probably have things like this. I just moved mine over here, click and drag. This is the workspace, uh, players, this is where everyone goes. Workspace is everything you can see pretty much. Lighting, that's like the sky and all of that good stuff. Started UI, that's, that's your basic UI, that's where you put things in. Started pack, this is what players get if they spawn. Uh, debris, this is just, no need to worry about that. Soundscape. Uh, basic sound. All this is located inside of game. So, you, what you want to do for your first script is insert object script. Uh, what I did is, since it just starts off right around here, just press S twice, and it'll take you to script. Uh, you can you can name this whatever you want. I'll just name this uh, fun. Go into it. Uh, it'll say uh, hello world it's at first. Oh, yeah. uh, to make the text bigger, hold down control and scroll. I'll, I'm just making it bigger for you guys right now. And uh, simple stuff. So here's your basic script. Uh, you could move it and click it and drag it over and over uh, whatever you want. I just put it inside this little piece right here named part. If you click it in workspace and it's not locked, you'll see it on the side as a blue thing. Uh, open this little plus sign and you'll see the script. Here, this is where the magic happens. Remember, everything is located in game. So, game dot, or you could do capitalize game dot. Capitalization matters like 99% of the time, so you do not want to screw that up. Grammar also will mess you up. So let's see here, game dot workspace. Everything that you find inside, like the whole parent of the game up here, is pretty much where everything's inside of, is a uh, game. So that's where you find it. And then you have a dot which you separate them. You have workspace, and then you put dot part. So we put, put dot part. And if this isn't named part, you could just rename it for anything you want. Um. There, that's pretty much that part right there. Now, if you want to do anything with it, you can, uh, you can do many things. Most functions that you use, you separate with it with a uh, colon, and then you put the function. Like for here, it'd be remove, and then you put two parentheses right next to each other. You go back to place, you press play, and it's gone. There you go. You can edit any property like this pretty much. Go into it. Um, let's say we want to change one of the properties. You can also get into properties too, that's fun. 
So the PAR is, uh, it's a brick color, I know. It is a, uh, transparency is zero, so let's change that. Put that transparency. Make sure you guys get all the grammar and everything right. If you don't, then it probably won't work. Equals, um, it's just telling it what to do. Equals 0 0.5, that's half transparency. There you go, it's half invisible. That's what transparency is, how, how much you can see of it. We can go back in and uh, edit some more things, like you have this thing called weight. It, you just type weight and then you have two parentheses, but in them you type in any number you want. That's how long it waits in seconds. And then uh, you could just leave it blank if you wanted to do it instantly. Well, just about instantly. I'm just going to say 0 0.5, that's half a second. And then... Uh, Game dot workspace dot part dot transparent whoopsies transparency equals zero point six. Now you can just copy and paste this simple stuff. Uh, change the numbers around here. Now there's other ways to do this. Some of them more complicated. Some of them easier. So I'll show you what that does. See every so often every. A uh, half second or so, it gets lighter. Now, uh, as you've noticed, you've probably gotten tired of writing game dot workspace dot part dot transparency. So there's this thing called tags. But pretty much what a tag is is uh, it's like a variable. You write like x equals game dot workspace dot part. That's my example right here. And uh, that pretty much just makes it so you don't have to keep writing it. But you don't want to make it any funky numbers like this or like um, random symbols. Just keep it to letters and numbers. So you'd write like x dot brick color equals brick color dot new right random. I'll teach you guys about brick color later. It's pretty much what color the brick is, except you got to be like perfect with the colors. And you'll see x equals game dot workspace that part. So I put x that brick color. Here it is, brick color equals uh, bright green. Where is it? It would be this color right here. And you can see this right now. So there you go. Some basic stuff. Now there's these other things called functions. Um, make sure you write it perfectly like this. No capitalized or watch. If you do it right, it'll show up as a blue. If you capitalize anything in it, it'll come out weird. Just make it perfect, don't mess with it. Uh, let's say function, you can name functions pretty much anything you want. Function, uh, delete, let's name it that. You can name it anything. Now uh, let's see what the function will do. You'll see what they do in a second. Uh, X, remove, yes. And then you put an end every time you have a function or an if or some sort of blue thing like this. Now, uh, this is just a function. You could tell you could write like billions of lines of code in the function, but it still won't do anything unless you activate it or trigger it. There's pretty much one simple way to do it, and you can trigger them by doing uh, delete. There you go. Just rename the function. Write it in, and there you go. That's all. That's the basics of scripting.